Batman number 46, Tom King and Tony S. Daniel uh, in this big part two of The Gift, uh, which turns out it's a three-part story because 47 is next and then 48 is when we mm-hmm. get back to the Joker stuff. So, yep. um, so basically this issue, Booster has this idea. He's been, he's been there for a little while. He's got a beard now. Yeah. A year, there you go. And it's the very first panel, one year later. Uh, yeah. I'm not looking at it, to be fair. From, <laughs> it's gone from bad to worse. Oh, like, yeah. If you can imagine it. You can almost imagine that from that Hawkeye series from Fraction. Just a, okay, mm-hmm. this looks bad. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I imagine it's starting like that. But his plan is to try and like fix Bruce and sort of get him back on side. Is that he's going to meet, make sure that he interacts and has, as he puts it, a meet cute with a uh, Catwoman. A meet cute, if you're unfamiliar with that term, is basically the scene in a movie, a romantic comedy, where the two characters, a love interest, will kind of stumble into each other and it'll be like an embarrassing little moment. It's called a meet cute, it's how they met. And he wants to do that for Selena and Bruce. So he breaks Selena out of Arkham. And he's like, okay, great, I'll meet you. Oh, do you know what? Actually, this plan's not going to work unless you're in leather. You need the outfit. So he sews yeah. together a makeshift Catwoman outfit for Selena to wear. And the whole issue, Bruce is, is horrified because his father has a heart attack and he's worried that he's going to die. And he's like praying. We see that this Bruce is a religious man. He goes to church and he prays for his father. Please don't kill my father. Uh, give, 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 you know, get, make sure he's still with us. They get the good news at the hospital. Him and his mother are happy that, you know, uh, he's, he's still alive. And at the end of the issue, Bruce is like, oh, everything's all it can be, father. You're here. Mother's here. Alfred's here. All is right in the world. And then Booster jumps in with Selena. And Selena turns out to be a rabid serial killer in this world and kills so, <laughs> Alfred. Yeah, the whole thing is all she says is meow. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. no other. So she's clearly, you know, far far worse than than we could have imagined. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's psychotic. Catwoman in this world is not cat burglar. It's no serial killer who says meow. Yes, yeah. yes. And we end the book. Booster has somehow got both of his parents killed, along with Alfred, and it also looks like Catwoman might be dead as well. Like, it's, they're all lying there. They're all yeah, because because uh, Punisher Batman, Dick Grayson comes in and yep. shoots Catwoman, and, and, she... and then she takes off his fingertips. She does. Yep. She cuts off his fingertips. Martha gets shot, and uh, Bruce shoots uh, Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's woof. I, I feel like the point here is okay. He goes. He's gone through this tragedy now, which is enough to inspire him to go. Well, right, and that right. was yeah. So Booster's whole plan was like, hey, oh, sure, yeah. I'll get him. I'll get him with Catwoman. That's all he needs because that's all you know. Batman. It's it's love. Love fixes everything. Oh yeah, dramatically for him motivated to want it to go back to the way it was, so it's not as bad as this. That makes sense. Yeah. But honestly, the ending of this issue for me, it felt almost like a really bit of black humor where. Yep. Like, Booster yeah. screws up so bad that he puts him through an even worse tragedy than he actually suffered yep. originally. Yeah, instead of just the parents, now it's the parents it's and everyone. Alfred. It's everyone. When you look in that room, it's everyone that's actually super close with him. Yeah, Dick. Dick I mean, even, even, even though Dick in this yeah. universe isn't close with him, it's still, it's you not. know... Yeah, I, I only say those because those are the ones that he cares about. He doesn't care about Selena here. He doesn't care about Dick. No. He, doesn't, he definitely no, but, doesn't care about Booster. Yeah, but, but thematically, though, here, like, just uh, yeah. as everyone who's closest to him and in, in the real universe, as yep. it were. No, no, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I just Booster referencing Ted was that bittersweet. Oh yeah. He's like, oh yeah, and Batman wasn't here to help them fight, so Ted died. Oh, and it like it sinks with him, and then he tries to put that face back on. You know, mm-hmm. he goes that Ted. He starts calling him this Ted, and not the actual Ted. So I yeah. thought that was a real nice, poignant mm-hmm. moment in this otherwise silly, dark comedy. It is a dark comedy, it really is. It's like ultra uh-huh. this is the worst possible alternate universe for Batman they ever. They are in the darkest timeline. Yeah. Like Yeah. Oh man, Bruce should have a mustache. Or a goatee, <laughs> rather. Goatee, you should have a goatee. Yeah. It's the darkest timeline. Yeah. yeah. But I love the stuff with, with Bruce in the church, because you've never seen that side of him. And it, it kind of was reminiscent of I'll Become the Bat. But it was mm. a little bit different. So he was he was giving it up to his religion instead of this quest for Vengeance, and his dad ends up being okay, right? Which was the nice swerve, you know. Yeah. Just the doctor comes out, it's like, hey, we should up. speak alone. Yeah. Yeah, you which know, so. honestly just adds more to the dark humor of the ending, where yeah. you know, everyone exactly. gets killed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, and I like, too, that, that Thomas is like, yeah, this was all meant to be something else, and I don't know where it went wrong. It's almost as if they have to be sacrificed for Gotham to even be close to... 
you know, normal. And if you can consider yeah. anything Gotham normal. Well, yeah, because uh, uh, Thomas at one point even says how Gotham's supposed to be a paradise, but it's like going yeah. to shit. And, you know, the Arkham's falling, Gotham's falling. Yeah. He's, he's ashamed of what the city's like. and, and so He has us, but us Waynes, we don't fall, which is always the, you know, the line that sticks from Batman Begins when we fall and mm. you know, pick ourselves back up. That's in direct opposition. So I, I liked all that. I liked the thematic in here. I just, some of the writing here was just like, I didn't enjoy it as much as the last one. But the content, I think, was stronger. It's weird. Like, it's one of those... The way that it was assembled, I wasn't a big fan of, but I liked what was there. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I did have a super... I, I kind of like Booster being a little unhinged. He's got the beard, and he's been he's been trapped in this awful alternate timeline for like yep. a year now, and he's like, you know, really getting desperate, uh, talking to Catwoman. Uh, so, you know. Uh, and also, just Booster's reaction when Catwoman just starts slicing throats. He's like... Oh no! <laughs> this isn't what's supposed oh, to happen. It's Job in our. I've made a huge mistake. Yeah, it's basically that. I've made a huge mistake. Yeah. He is. He's the Job of the DCU. He why have I never seen this before? <laughs> and I think that's why I love Booster so much. He, he really. Is. He means well. He does mean well, but he just he can't get out of his own way. So uh, where were we? Yeah, Batman. Batman was good. <laughs> it's a it's a fun yeah. trip down a nightmare timeline, and you know it's going to all be fixed at the end, and that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony Tony Daniels uh, Batman Returns Catwoman suit mm-hmm. looked great. Yeah, like that pose where you first see her, it's it's unsettling but also cool at the same time. Like it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I, I think that design inherently looks a little bit more psychotic because it's like stitched together and has this kind of like it's it's this really makeshift thing. Isn't yeah, it? has that patchwork yep. quality. Um, although in this yeah, universe, sure Boost, Booster's the one who's <laughs> sewn yeah. it together. Yeah, that, that's why it's so bad. It's just because he can't sew because yeah. Ted did it all for him. 